We are taking R.D. Sharma solution, class 10 maths, chapter number 12, exercise 12.1. And this is applications of uh, trigonometry. And the name can be height and distances also in different editions of the book. Before I go ahead, most of the time we are going to take the tan of an angle. That means this is a triangle. This is theta. Then this is perpendicular, this is hypotenuse and this is base. So most of the time we are going to take tan theta, that is perpendicular by base, most of the time. Sometimes we may take sin theta cos theta. Most of the time the questions are solved like this. So a tower stands vertically on the ground. So what we have to do is we have to make a figure. So 50% of uh, the solution is making the figure. If you are able to make the figure correctly, then the problem will not be that much. But the figure is very important. So you have to make a figure first. That is, a tower stands vertically on the ground. A tower stands vertically on the ground. So if this is a ground, this is a tower. From a point on the ground, say this point is on the ground, 20 meter away from the foot of the tower. So it is 20 meter away from the foot of the tower. The angle of elevation. So when we see up, it is angle of elevation. That is from here to here. And when from here to here we look down, this is angle of elevation, but when we look down, this is the angle of depression. So the angle changes, but this angle and this angle, because these two are parallel lines, this angle and this angle will be equal because of the alternate angles between the parallel lines of a transversal. So even if the depression is given, this angle will, will take, even if the elevation is given, we will take this angle. So what is the angle of elevation here of the top of the tower? This is 60 degree. So what is the height of the uh, height of the tower? So let us assume this, this to be height of the tower as h. So what we are going to do, as I just suggested, we will take tan 60. Tan 60 is what? Perpendicular by base, that is h by 20. So tan 60 is, tan 60 is what? It is root 3, h by 20. So what do you get? h equal to 20 root 3. So this is the answer. Sometimes it is, uh, in the question, is, it is being asked. So they may ask that up to two decimals you have to answer. So what you can do here is most of the time root 3 and root 2 will come. So for root 3 you can take 1.732, for root 2 you can take 1.414. So here you can take root 3 as 1.732 and just multiply. This is what you can do. But this answer is also acceptable. The angle of elevation of a ladder against a wall is 60 degree. So angle of elevation of a ladder against a wall. So let us make a wall and a ladder. This is a wall. This is a ladder and the angle of elevation is 60 degree and the foot of the ladder is 9.5 away from the wall. So if this is the wall, it is 9.5 meter away from the wall. Find the length of the ladder. So again what we are going to use, we are going to use tan 60. This is going to be this height, say, uh, oh right. Now here the things change. We have to find out the length of the ladder. So what we have to do, see. This is your hypotenuse and this is your base. So hypotenuse and base, what trigonometric ratio we can use? We can use the cos angle. So cos 60 we are going to use is base upon hypotenuse. That is 9.5 by hypotenuse. That is the length of the ladder. So let us take it as L. L will be what? Because we know that cos 60 is half. Cos 60 is half. So this half goes up, means 2 goes up. So 9.5 into 2 is 19 meter. So length of the ladder is 19 meter. But you have to write like this, okay? I am just giving you the logic and the idea how to solve it. But this is how you have to write in your examination and in your uh, when you are doing the homework. A ladder is placed along a wall of a house such that its upper end is touching the top of the wall. So there is a wall and there is a ladder which is touching the upper of the wall, up, up of the wall or top of the wall. So this is the wall and this is your ladder. The foot of the ladder is 2 meter away from the wall. So this is the foot of the ladder. This is the top of the ladder. So it is around 2 meter away from the, from the uh, wall. The ladder is making 60 degrees. So this is 60 degree from the level ground. Determine the height of the wall. So now you have to find the height of the wall. This height. So let us take it as h from here to here. This point to this point. So again, we'll use 1060. 1060 will be what? Perpendicular by base, height of the wall by 2 meter. 1060, as we know that it is equal to root 3. So you can just write root 3 equal to h by 2. 
h will be equal to 2 root, root 3. This is the answer. So this is how you have to do it. An electric pole is 10 meter high. A steel wire to top of the pole is affixed at a point on the ground to keep the pole upright. If the wire makes an angle of 45 degree with the horizontal through the foot of the pole, find the length of the wire. Now here what is the scenario? We have a electric pole. There is a wire being attached and it is firmly fixed so that it remains, this uh, pole remains straight here or fixed here. So the angle it is making is 45 degrees. So this is your pole, electric pole and this is your wire. So the wire is making 45 degree and what is the distance, uh, what is the length of the electric pole? It is 10 meter. It is 10 meter. So we have to find out this length of the wire. So we have to find this one. So here we have this is as hypotenuse and this is what perpendicular. So perpendicular and hypotenuse, where do you get? You get in sin theta. Sin theta is perpendicular by hypotenuse. So you use sin 45 degree. Sin 45 is what? Perpendicular upon hypotenuse, 10 by h. Or you can say, uh, because this is not height, this is length. Length of the, because you have to find the length of the wire, so I am taking it as L. What is seven, uh, sin 45? It is 1 by root 2. It is 10 by L. What do you get L? L as 10 root 2. This is the answer. A kite is flying at, an high, at a height of uh, 75 meters from the ground level. Attached to a string inclined at 60 degree to the horizontal. Find the length of the string to the nearest meter. So here there is a kite. Now this kite is flying at a height of 75 meters. So it is at a height of from here to here it is 75 meters. From this point to this point. From the level ground attached to a string which is making 60 degree to the horizontal. So this is 60 degree it is making. This is your string and there is no slack. This is 60 degree and this is the height above the ground. Find the length of the string. So we have to find the length of the string. This way we have to find. Again we will use the sine one but here the angle is 60 degree. So this is perpendicular. This is hypotenuse. So sine 60 is perpendicular upon hypotenuse which is 75 by L. Sin 60 is root 3 by 2 equal to 75 by L. What do you get L as? 75 into 2 by root 3. You can multiply root 3 and root 3 we can, because we don't leave the root in the denominator most of the time. So L equal to 75 in, into 2 root 3 and this root 3 and root 3 will become 3. So this is 3 to the 6, 3 5 is a 15, 3 to the 6, 3 5 is a 15 and 25 into 2 is 50. So it will be 50 root 3. Length will be 50 root 3. The length of a string between a kite and a point on a a point on a, a point on the ground is 90 meters. If the string makes an angle of theta with the ground level such that tan theta is given as 15 by 8, how high is the kite? Assume that there is no slack in the string. So here the scenario is the length of the string between kite and a point on the ground is 90 meters. So here is from here to here it is 90 meter. This is the length of the string, string of the kite. So here is your kite. If the string makes an angle of theta, this is theta and it is given that tan theta is 15 by 8. How high is the kite? So we have to find this height of the kite, right? So how you are going to get this? See, uh, we will do it in, the, uh, in two ways. First of all, the tan theta is given, tan theta is given. So let us assume this to be x from here to here. I am just taking it. You can take y or anything. So tan theta is perpendicular by base. Perpendicular is h. Base is x. h by x. Tan theta is what? 15 by 8. It is h by x. What is x? x is, I am taking 8 by 15. So it will be 8 h by 15. This is the first sequence. The second is, see, we have to find out the height. We have to find out the height. So what we will do here is we will take another angle but since I can take if we, even if I take another angle say sin theta or cos theta say sin theta I am taking. Sin theta is perpendicular upon hypotenuse h by 90 but, but sin theta is not known. Cos also I can take but it is not known. So it is better that I solve it using the Pythagoras theorem. So x is now 8 h by 15. This is h, this is 90. No, I am going to use the 
Pythagoras theorem. So 8h by 15 whole square means this side square plus this side square that is h square is going to be 90 square. This will be 64h square by 15 to 25 plus h square equal to 90 square. What do we get? We get this one. So I'll just take this as common. It is going to be 64h square plus 225h square equal to 90 square into 225 that is 15 square. So I will take h square common. So 64 plus 225, this is going to be 9, 289, 289 equal to 90 square into 225. So h square will be equal to 90 square, let it be 15 square only by 289. And I will take the square root of this. See 90 square, so 90 will come, 15 square, so 15 will come out and 289, 289 is what? It is 17 square. It is 17 square, so 17 will come out. So this will be 17. This is going to be 289 can be written as 17 square. So we have all these square. When we take root 90, 15, and 19 into 15 by 17 will come. So this is your answer. You can just solve it. It will be 79.41, or uh, you can take it to whatever decimal you want. A vertical tower stands on a horizontal place and is surmounted by a vertical flagstaff. So there is a vertical tower, this is a tower and there is a flagstaff, it is surmounted by a vertical flagstaff at a point on the plane 70 meter above, uh, 70 meter away from the tower. So we are coming 70 meter away from the tower, an observer, so here is an observer, he notices that, that the angle of elevation of the, of the meters away from the flagstaffs, that is 70 meter away, is 60 degree and 45 degree. So just let just let me know what do you think that which angle will be higher. This angle will be higher, this will be less. This will be 45 degree and this will be 60 degree. Right? So we have to find the height of the flagstaff and the tower. So let us uh, take it as say y and this is x. So first we will take this triangle. You have to properly name the triangle. Okay, I am just telling you how to do it, but you have to give all the names like a b c d all these right so what is tan 45 i'm taking this triangle tan 45 is what it is perpendicular by base x by 70 but tan 45 is 1 so you get x equal to 70 so the height of the tower is 70 now let us come here this big tri triangle what is tan 60 it will be perpendicular that is y plus x by base that is 70. Tan 60 is what? Tan 60 is root 3. So root 3 will be equal to y plus x. Y x is what? 70 by 70. So what do you get? I am taking this here. 70 root 3 equal to y plus 70. I am bringing it here. 70 I am taking common root 3 minus 1 equal to y. So this y will be equal to or this Height of the flagstaff will be 70 root 3 minus 1. You can use this uh, root 3 as 1.732 and solve it. You will get 51.24. So, 1 is 70, 1 is 51.24. Next is a vertically straight tree. So, we have a tree 15 meter high. So, from here to here it is 15 meter. It is broken by a wind in such a way that its top touches the ground. So, it breaks say from here. And now it is like this, lying like this. This is making 60 degree. If this whole, we, we take it as x from here to here, what this will be 15 minus x. Because from here to here it is 15. So if I take it as x, it will be 15 minus x. So what we can do, do here is, this is perpendicular, this is hypotenuse, so I can take sin 60. Sin 60 will be equal to this x by 15 minus x. So this uh, will be sin 60, sin 60 is root 3 by 2, this is going to be x, 15 minus x. So I, I can multiply this, root 3 into 15, 15 minus x equal to 2x, this will be 15 root 3 minus root 3x 
equal to 2x I'm bringing it here so 15 root 3 will be equal to 2x plus root 3x I'm taking x common so it will be 2 plus root 3 now I'm bringing this down in order to find x x will be equal to 15 root 3 plus 2 plus root 3 so now I will not leave this uh, root in the denominator so I have to multiply or rationalize it so every time when we have say a plus b then we multiply it by a minus b to rationalize it if you want to get rid of the root so you have to multiply 2 minus root 3 and 2 minus root 3 here numerator denominator so what do you get uh, this is a plus b a minus b so a plus b a minus b it will be a square minus b square so what do you get here 2 square minus root 3 whole square this will be 4 and this is minus 3 this is going to be 1 right what do you get in the numerator this is 1 so x will be equal to 15 root 3 2 minus root 3 just multiply root 3 inside so it will be 15 uh, 2 root 3 root 3 minus root 3 is 3 so this is your answer a vertical tower stands on a horizontal plane and it is surmounted by a vertical flagstaff of height 5 meter at a point on the plane the angle of elevation of the top and bottom of the flagstaff are respectively 30 degree and 60 degree find the height of the tower so we have a tower here there is a flagstaff here from a point here the angle of elevation of the top and bottom so this is 30 degree and this is 60 degree but the height of flagstaff is given so this is 5 so let us assume this to be h from here to here and this is x first i am taking this tower uh, this one smaller one so it will be tan 30 equal to h by x what do you get tan 30 as 1 by root 3 equal to h by x so you get x equal to root 3 h this is your first equation now i am taking the bigger triangle this is 60 degree so tan 60 is 5 plus h means whole i have to take by x now tan 60 i will replace by root 3 5 plus h what is x this is it is root 3 h so i'll put root 3 h right let us multiply it root 3 into root 3 is 3 h equal to 5 plus h bring it here 3 h minus h is 5 3 h minus h is 2 h equal to 5 h is equal to 5 by 2 so this is what you are going to get 5 by 2 that is 2.5 meter a person observed the angle of elevation of a tower as 30 degree. He walked 50 meters towards the foot of the tower along level ground. Found the angle of elevation of the top of the tower as 60 degree. Find the height of the tower. So first he found to be 30 degree. Then the angle increase. So he might have gone. This is say this is 60 degree. So when he he has gone, I'll, I'll just show you. This is the tower now he is here he is uh, seeing the angle as 60 degree now he moved 50 meter backwards this angle is going to be 30 degree the logic is the near you are to the wall or a tower the angle will be higher uh, the, the more you go uh, away from this uh, tower or anything which is uh, the straight one the angle will decrease that is how i identified that this angle has to be 60 degree this angle has to be 30 degree so let us take this from here to here as x and this as h we have to find the height so we have to eliminate this x first i'll take it this 60 degree so 10 60 degree i am taking this triangle first 10 60 is h by x 10 60 is root 3 so x will be equal to h by root 3 why because i have to eliminate Eliminate x. So I am taking h as h by root 3. Now let us take this one. This triangle. 10, 30 is equal to h by. Now I have to take this one. x plus 50. x plus 50. 10, 30 is what? It is 1 by root 3. h by. x is what? h by root 3. Now bring this here. 1 by root 3 
इंटू एच बाय रूट थ्री प्लस फिफ्टी इक्वल टू एच सो डू गेट एच बाय रूट थ्री इंटू रूट थ्री इज थ्री प्लस दिस इज फिफ्टी बाय रूट थ्री इक्वल टू एच नाउ ब्रिंग दिस हेयर फिफ्टी बाय रूट थ्री विल बी इक्वल टू एच माइनस एच बाय थ्री वो डू गेट थ्री एच माइनस एच बाय थ्री इट इज टू एच बाय थ्री एंड वट डू गेट आई एम टेकिंग दिस टू बाय थ्री हेयर so that should be equal to 50 by root 3 into 3 by 2 now let us multiply root 3 root 3 in the numerator denominator what do you get 50 into 3 into root 3 by 3 into 2 root 3 root 3 is 3 2 2 is already there 3 so 3 cancels this is 25 so do you get 25 root 3 this is the answer Now the next question we are going to take uh, in the next part so till then thank you so much take care of yourself